I am honored to have this opportunity to pray for Israel and the Jewish people. I also express my profound appreciation to Pastor Joey Rogers, Pastor Ted Trailer, and each of you for participating in this timely prayer meeting, for there is supernatural power in prayer. Remember that Israel is a Bible issue, not a political issue. Israel and the Jewish people are God's top priority. Therefore, Israel and the Jewish people should be important to every believer. God's chosen people did not receive the love of God from the majority of Christians. During the 19 centuries, they were scattered among the nations. It's time for believers to show the Jewish people the unconditional love of God. The Bible exhorts us to seek the good of Israel with our prayer. King David commands believers in Psalms 122.6, quote, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love you. Jerusalem is the city of God. Jerusalem is the place where Isaiah and Jeremiah penned the principles of righteousness that became the moral foundations of Western civilization. Jerusalem is where Jesus Christ will return to earth and establish his eternal kingdom. Jerusalem is the epicenter of the universe and believers must daily seek her good for Jerusalem is the shoreline of eternity. Jesus said salvation is of the Jews. What blessings have the Jewish people given to us, the Gentiles? The Jewish people have given us the Bible, every word written by Jewish hands. They've given us the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, and our blessed Redeemer. Remember, Judaism does not need Christianity to explain its existence, but Christianity must have Judaism to explain our existence. We must not remain silent in defense of Israel and her people. We must pray for her safety and peace and take action in her defense. Since the Hamas massacre of October 7th, over 1,300 innocent people have been brutally murdered and over 700 IDF soldiers have lost their lives in defense of Israel's survival. Over 20,000 rockets have been fired into Israel by Iran's proxies Hamas and Hezbollah. Tens of thousands of Israeli civilians have been displaced from Israel's border with Gaza and Lebanon, and in the last month, continued atrocities have been committed against the remaining hostages while loved ones still bury their dead. Enough is enough. Please join me in prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we come together in unity and pray for Israel. We pray for the Jewish people and the city of Jerusalem, for there you promise to command your blessing. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who calls the stars by name, the God who holds the seven seas in the palms of your hand, the God who created the nation of Israel, you made an unconditional covenant with her people, expose every anti-Semitic act in our government and remove every politician who plots against Zion. For the day America stops blessing the Jewish people will be the day God stops blessing America. Today, according to your word, we call upon the defender of Israel, let there be peace in Jerusalem. Let there be peace in the north, the south, and in every home of the Jewish nation. We ask that you curse the nations that call for the annihilation of your people. Crush those who attack Jerusalem with your mighty right hand. Scatter them as the shucks of the summer threshing floor. Israel's enemies are your enemies. Do not keep silence. Do not hold your peace of these people. For behold, your enemies are slaughtering the innocent. And those who hate you, God of Israel, have raised their heads against you. As your word declared thousands of years ago, your enemies have conspired together with one mind. They have said, quote, come, 
and let us wipe Israel out as a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. Let God arise and let your enemies be brought to confusion and destroyed. For behold, he that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Rise up, Lord, in your righteous wrath and defend your firstborn son, that the world may know that you are God Almighty, who lifts kings up and puts kings down. Our petition is now recorded in the Chronicles of Heaven, in the authority of Jesus' name. Let your word, I will bless those who bless Israel, and I will curse those who curse you, become a reality in America and the world today and forevermore. Amen.